Okay, I, sh I should probably explain a little bit about uh, what it is that I do. Uh, I'm an artist. Uh, I started out as a painter and a sculptor, but I realized that uh, there's no immediacy in doing that. So uh, I was very angry as a young man growing up in the 60s. There were many issues, racism, the war in Vietnam, and uh, I decided I would uh, take my work to the streets. Uh, so I did social, political, satirical, controversial events that got me in trouble, and I read the newspapers and I watched how they twisted and torqued the intent, content, meaning of the message to suit their own agendas. So I decided that I would use the media as a medium and create uh, commentary uh, about the media as well as about issues that I thought were important. My work is done in three stages. The first stage is the hook, where I come up with a concept, I figure out how to do it, what's involved, how many people do I need, uh, what kind of props do I need, costumes, and I launch it. That's the hook. Second stage is the line, which is where does it go, who does what with it. So I hire press clipping services and I pay to track where it's going and who I'm affecting. And then thirdly, when it's got enough attention, I do the third part, the sinker, uh, which is when I reveal the story and do an expose and talk about uh, not only my intent, but what the media has done to the story. It's like playing an electronic telephone game. I whisper in one person's ear, you pass it around, and by intent or by accident, the message gets changed. So my work is really about media literacy. It's not only uh, what you believe, but how did you come to your beliefs? So I ask people to question authority, and the work really is uh, uh, what do you believe? How did you come to your beliefs? Do you have a question of source of your beliefs? If not, why not? Suspending empathy really is to uh, let the audience know that I'm not a nasty person. I'm not trying to hurt anyone. I'm just trying to say that nice people come into my lives as journalists, and I know I'm going to set them up and fool them. So uh, I have to convince my, my whole team, look, you might really like this journalist, but uh, they're not doing their homework. They didn't Google. They didn't do any research. They didn't find out who I am, and they're just taking a press release and going on it verbatim. So I have to say, suspend empathy because you feel sorry for them. They're such suckers that, you know, okay, well, unfortunately we're gonna to have to fool them. That's what I mean by suspending empathy. Now you said something to me the other day when we were, I just passed you by and stopped you. Yeah, I remember what it was. It was, uh, you know, works can be uh, profound, profane, and pathetic. I have my own criteria for what works for me. Uh, I have my own rules as to what I will do and what I won't do. And that includes not breaking the law, not exploiting people for money, not ripping people off. Bruised egos, you know, satire bites, and you're not gonna be friends with everyone. So I expect to have ruffled the feathers of quite a few people in doing what I do, but hopefully they understand that really I'm just a messenger, the messages we're being bullshitted to, and uh, you have to, you know, be aware of that and check the source. Okay, if if you want to follow the film, there's a website for the film, Art of the Prank Dash the Movie dot com. Art of the Prank Dash the Movie dot com. I also have a blog called Art of the Prank dot com, uh, which is uh, I think people will find it interesting. And of course, my website is JoeySkags dot com, and that's you know, uh, fifty plus years of of my work uh, as a media satirist, as an artist. You want the action or? No, no, no just come and grab him. Just grab him. Just darling. <laughs> uh, when I met Andrea uh, for the first time, I looked at a younger me. And that was important to me. Uh, Andrea, in a very short time, showed me that he had the capability to understand what it is that I'm trying to do and an appreciation for it. And I saw in him a young artist like I was once upon a time, who was dedicated and disciplined, and uh, I was open-hearted to that because when you're young, nobody gives a shit. They don't take you seriously, and uh, I thought that Andrea you know, should be taken seriously, and he was giving me an opportunity to be there to document this whole process, which is a huge piece of his life. So I'm grateful to what he has done 
to make my work available to a broader audience. Now kiss, we're good. <laughs>